Preview. Hi guys, how's it going? It's the tech student here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about a course that I just undertook and it's called Essentials of Entrepreneurship as you read from the title of the video. It is offered by the University of California, Irvine by David Standen. All the credits goes to um, the university and to David Standen because I'm just telling you what I just remembered from the course and all the essentials. So as I mentioned before in my previous video, I undertook a lot of courses with Coursera, with the Lebanese government. And this is one of my courses that I just finished and I got a certificate with it. So guys, I'm going to give you like a sneak peek of the course. So this is the Essentials of Entrepreneurship. So um, it's basically four weeks, but if you're really, really devoted, you can just um, do it within in less than a week, to be honest. And then they can give you a certificate like this one. This is a sample. So in this course, David Standen basically gives like an overview about entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship doesn't have a um, like a definition, as David Standen said. It doesn't have a definition because entrepreneurship is really different from a person to another. Um, I cannot say that I am an entrepreneur yet because, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm basically a student now. I'm just learning and I'm giving you all the things that I just learned. So basically in this course, David Stanton talks about the process of entrepreneurship and he talks about risk and uncertainty. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm going to give like two examples that David Stanton said that are really, you know, you can remember them, that I personally remember, they are really important. So if you stick to the end of the video, and I'm going to mention those two examples. When David Standen talked about risk and uncertainty, he was talking about how a person, he he's really scared and he doesn't know what to do. For example, someone has an idea and he wants to put it on the market or he wants to do something about it but he doesn't know where to start or he's scared of the risk of putting something into the market because of the huge competitiveness on the market and he's talking about the uncertainty as well so basically like a person he's really uncertain about his idea or he doesn't know what to to do about his his idea so david standen he's taught he's he mentioned two main um, ideas. So the first one is the third person opportunity and the second one is the first person opportunity. And the third person opportunity is when the person does the feasibility study and he does the financial equation. He puts on a pen and paper, he does all the researches, all the numbers, everything that he needs um, for him to be able to put his idea on the market. And he can say, after all those feasibility studies and all the financial equations, this person can do it. Or like the person who applies those um, financial equations and the feasibility studies, this person can do it. Basically, the idea is is, is feasible. It's it, He can put it on the market. It's it's a good idea. It's worthy. After that, uh, David Stannon, he talks about um, the entrepreneurial skills and tools and the marketing strategies and the human resources and operations. So basically he, he's talking about like how an entrepreneur has skills and tools and what is the marketing strategy? Like what does an entrepreneur need for him to be able to put his, his idea on the market? I'm not going to give a lot of uh, details about the course because it's a course at the end of all. And I, I really, really recommend every one of you to go and study this course on Coursera because it is worthy of studying because um, I enrolled in different courses in entrepreneurship. I'm not going to mention um, the other courses because um, because of copyright and everything, but I did two entrepreneur courses, all right? I did this one from the University of California, Irvine, and I did another one from another university. And each course is, is different from another, and uh, it's different by its approach and how each and every professor gives the message to the learner and the different uh, assignments that he gives. So uh, I did another course by another university about entrepreneurship and it was horrible. I'm going to say it, it was horrible because 
the videos and the explanation of the professors were not really relatable to the assignments that they were giving. So, for example, they were talking about how a person can be entrepreneurial. The, uh, and the, the assignment was about advertise, sticky note, and a paperclip. It wasn't relatable and it wasn't enjoyable to do. Whereas this course, it was really enjoyable and David Standard knew how to to give the the message to the learner and it was really enjoyable to do and it was really smooth and um they say it needs four weeks but if you're really committed to the to the course it can really finish within a week to be honest within the human resources and operations and the entrepreneurial skills and tools and everything about it david Tennant talked about four different pillars of entrepreneurship the first pillar is the individual entrepreneur which is what basically each and every person thinks off when you think about an entrepreneurial person, for example, he he comes with an idea, he puts he puts it in the market, and then it's going to be successful. People need to embrace failure. You should know that failure is important. You should not be scared of failure, as David Standen said, and uh, as my mentor, who is my uncle, he says, um, failure is important, and we should embrace failure because you cannot learn without failing. To be honest. You need to fail for you to be able to learn and do something um, that is better because you did those failures. You're going to do something that's more successful and better. The second pillar of entrepreneur is the entrepreneur, the social entrepreneur. This pillar talks about how a person, uh, he wants to implement something in the society. He's not material. He's not putting an idea in the market. He doesn't want, a f um, like, he doesn't want to make money out of it. Third type is the corporate entrepreneur so it's an entrepreneur within a corporate within a company so not always as David Stanton says not always uh, an entrepreneur needs to be uh, like ind uh, independent and he opens his own company no he can be within a company and he can embrace the company and give more ideas to the company and just market the idea that is within the company and just put it out within the corporate and help the corporate become more successful. If you made it to the end of the video, um, I'm going to give you the two examples that David Standen mentioned in his course. So the first one tackles uncertainty. I know that every single one entrepreneur that he wants to put his uh, idea to the market and he wants to be successful, he's uncertain and he's scared and, and everything is risky. And David Standen just gives this example by the weather. So for example, he says that you can you can learn the future. You can just not not predict. The future is unpredictable. Uh, for example, he says that uh, a meteorologist, he studies um, how the clouds and how the wind is within the area and it can give the weather for the couple of days that are coming. So it's the same thing for an entrepreneur. He can just study within the field that he wants to put his idea into the market. So do your researches and do your feasibility studies and your accounting and your system as your new technology. You can just work and the future will not be so risky. You can, as I said earlier on, you can change from the third person opportunity to the first person opportunity. So the first person opportunity is um, where you can say, I can do it. Like it's not a person can do it, you can do it. This is the first example that David Stanton talked about in his course. And the second example that David Stanton gave is, for example, he has a company in California and he's giving the example of the, the, the weather within the country. Uh, cold weather and the fall and the winter benefits his business because his uh, services business. And he's located within the Sun Belt of the United States, which is basically the hot area of the United States. So in the cold season, all the people that live in the, um, in the North, for example, Chicago, New York, or in the Midwest, like North Carolina, and all of those people, they would migrate and they will go to the Sun Belt within the cold season because it's hot up and because it's more enjoyable. But uh, it can have a lot of negatives because, for example, if this cold weather just tackles this his his business and his area, for example, a rainy day comes or a foggy day comes, it will impact his business negatively. So you should know that not everything will be positive. Not everything will have a good impact on your business. There are pros and cons within your business. So you should know that life is unpredictable. You, you have to tackle a lot of difficulties. Nothing comes easily. So finally, I would 
strongly, strongly recommend The Essentials of Entrepreneurship by the University of California, Irvine, which is given by David Stenden. It's a really enjoyable course. It really wraps up a lot of uh, the different pillars of entrepreneurship. I really recommend this course for you to take on Coursera. For you to know, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just giving an honest opinion about this course that I just undertook. And I'm going to give you a lot of honest opinions about the courses that I'm undertaking for you to know what you want to learn or for you to be spending your money properly within uh, in Coursera or in different learning uh, platforms. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you subscribe and you hit those thumbs up because they're really, really, really mean to me. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a nice day and see you in the next video.